is, how the devil are you? Well, if your old potbelly stove isn't quite kicking out enough heat to keep you warm, I think I've got the answer. An oil burner modification. Let me show you how it's done. DIY type uh, stove that I picked up from the side of the road. It looks like it's something some uh, school kids made for their high school project and uh, they might have fired the thing up and realized what a terrible design it was. Uh, you can see at the top there's some sort of what I suppose it to be is an air inlet which is in the wrong spot. There's uh, an opening down there, uh, again some sort of air inlet which of course is above the, uh, the grid in the thing and then there's an ashtray below. It's uh, certainly not sealed in any way, um, it's you know as you can see sort of bolted together and it has this chimney coming out at the top. Uh, yeah it looks like something some kids tried to make to me, um, you know good on them for trying but um, hopefully next time they'll put a bit more research into what they're doing. Anyway, this thing uh, represents uh, a style that uh, is um, pretty synonymous with the pot belly type thing. So what I'm going to do is just jam an oil burner in the bottom there, uh, fire it up and let's see uh, if we can get this little baby to kick out some heat. I imagine there'll be uh, fire and or smoke coming out of it everywhere. I'm just going to use um, the 300 kilowatt burner on this. Uh, I've got it just on those um, bits of metal just to get it up to the right height and uh, we'll plug her in, light her up and see what she does. There's the 300 uh, kilowatt burner. As you can see the uh, throat of it is just sticking inside that uh, heater there. Uh, I've put that little bit of old tin underneath it just to give the concrete a little bit of protection. It's been raining a lot lately so it might spall. And I've got that bit of blue square tube there on hand just in case the chimney needs lengthening a bit. I'll just uh, slip it right on over. Might get it up nice and close to the neighbours and they might like a bit of heat. So um, I'll put the, uh, the blower on it and uh, we'll crank her up and see how she goes. I've decided to get the big blower out again today, uh, really give this thing a bit of stick, see what we can do with it. I, uh, I'm a bit wary, I might have been doing things a bit too practical lately and uh, we're a bit overdue for some flames and whatever, so we'll see how we go. I've put those couple of plates around the uh, blower to uh, protect it from the heat, which I'm 99% sure is going to be uh, pretty awesome. And uh, I'm going to start it by throwing in that... Uh, bit of chopped up wood and that uh, bit of oil and I think it's got some water on it now soaked rag uh, not to worry I'm sure it'll take off just fine so we'll throw them in um, I'll throttle up the um, the blower just by covering the intake uh, let the burner get going then we'll give it the uh, the beans and see how she goes uh, it should be uh, kicking out uh, more heat than um, summer in the Northern Territory Okay, all primed and ready. Let's see if we can get it to go. Yep, there's a good start. Beautiful. getting that flame in there to fan up quite nicely you can probably hear the thing starting to roar 
and uh, we'll get some flame pretty soon coming out and then we'll add a bit of oil. Give it a little bit more air. And there we have it. You might hear a bit of popping as the moisture starts drying out of the burner and maybe even the, um, the fireplace as well, the heater. So as you can hear that's well and truly off and running quite nicely, real nice easy start up with a, uh, a bit of excitement with a bit of a pop to let you know it's on its way. Bloody beautiful. Already burning nice and clean. I think she's ready for a bit of a throttle up. Just gotta love that sound. You can probably tell from the colour of the drum, it's getting nice and hot there, no question about it. safety tips are multiple and comprehensive. This is probably not ideal for running inside your bedroom. It might be just a little bit too warm. I also wouldn't recommend it if you're refining stolen petrol in your garage or you've got a home meth lab that needs heating. Actually, if you're stealing petrol and refining it in your garage or you've got a meth lab, this is perfect for you. Crank the bastard up. He'll just love the effect and so will everybody else. Natural selection at work, doing a fine job once again. Now that's what I call a pretty effective pot belly stove. Put a fan behind that and you're going to be able to warm up a barn or a warehouse, let alone your lounge room. Look at that thing go, bloody beautiful. Now I'm always talking about cooking with oil. Here's a perfect opportunity 
to put it to the test. Oh yeah, gotta love that. Just set it to something a little bit practical. We wouldn't want to go overboard now, would we? No, sir. Disappointingly, the chimney doesn't belch a whole lot of flame. Oh well, I guess that means that the uh, heat is running kind of efficient. You don't really want all the heat going up the chimney, do you? Looks like it's getting nice and warm down low, right where you'd need it. Some people say they like spray burners better because they give you more control. Well, I think this thing's got plenty of control. You can go from ridiculous back to sanity at the turn of a dial. Look at that. It's like revving an engine. How much more control could you want? Seriously. That's just purely fingertip. And you can, if you like to roll coal, you've got that as well. Perfect control from what I can see. Unfortunately for some it has to be spelled out, so once again, this is not telling you what to do, it's just a demonstration of how you can do something. Obviously this would need to be set up a lot better engineered for practical use, but you know, the idea is there. For those of you that uh, have come across this as the first video of mine, please have a look at the uh, other 70 now videos on my channel. Uh, I do a lot of different things, so have a look there and uh, save yourself the embarrassment of asking for something that I've already done possibly three or four times. Uh, there's a whole lot of things on there of uh, different burners, so perhaps there's something else that'll interest you as well. Yep, this heater burner combination sure does walk and wall. Just looking at my fuel consumption, it's actually um, pretty modest. This thing's probably only doing 100 kilowatts, if that. Bear in mind, you'd be lucky if one of these stoves normally did about 30 kilowatts. So it's uh, still gonna crank out plenty of heat. No two ways about that. Unfortunately, I've left that uh, pipe sitting a bit too close. What a drongo I am. That thing will be way too hot to pick up now, so maybe we'll have to leave that for another video. Don't think it's going to make much difference. This thing is just packing out the heat. Obviously, if that uh, burner was uh, plumbed properly and air tied into there, this thing would be a ripper. You can see how hot that's getting there. I'm getting a bit worried that the concrete's going to start exploding in a minute. That thing is really getting warmed up nicely. And of course, with that amount of surface area, the heater is just kicking out some ridiculous heat. If you had some sort of blower or something behind that, you'd be able to warm up a very large, very drafty space with no problem at all. Just for those of you that haven't caught all my other vids when this is explained, very simple setup. The air blower there pushes the air into the burner. You can see where that line dribbles the oil in. There's no pump, there's no nozzle, it's just a simple gravity feed and the force of the air blows the oil in, spins it round and that's your end result. No need for complication or expensive parts. This works just brilliantly, as you can see, and it's nice and simple. Anybody can do it. Well, it looks like my fried rice is cooked, 
so I might swap that out for something different. Now, maybe uh, I feel like a bit of barbecue. the steaks never mind we'll just burn that off and uh, see how it goes hopefully I don't uh, crack that like the last cast iron plate that I nearly ruined looks like my hot plates warming up pretty quick look at the way that's changed in color that looks like one of those uh, fancy stoves that's got the hot uh, part in the middle and the cooler parts on the outside. I think they call them target tops for obvious reasons. Again, I've saved you guys a fortune on fancy cooking stoves. Just imagine how much the missus is gonna love doing one of these. She'll be able to start getting your dinner ready at six o'clock and it'll be cooked so fast, it'll be ready at five to six. Time will go backwards with a stove like this and she'll never complain about feeling chilly again. There you go, viewers. I think that's a, uh, another successful demonstration of the endless question, what can you do with an oil burner? Well, you can make your potbelly stove perform as it's never performed before, and you don't even have to go out and chop the wood. Please give this a like if uh, you enjoyed it, hopefully you did. Uh, if you're able to share it round on Red Edit or just within YouTube, that would be much appreciated to get this seen. If you haven't subscribed already, please do have a look at the channel. There's 70 other videos at this time on my wacky oil burners. So if you like this, there's sure to be something else to see. And um, Please uh, keep coming with the suggestions and the feedback. That's been really good lately and given me plenty of ideas. So um, where I can, I'll try and um, you know meet requests that I'm capable of. It might take a little while to get stuff together, but um, it's really good getting the feedback and the ideas and very much appreciated. As always, guys, thanks very much for watching. Well, there's something. You can turn the thing off and your house is still going to be plenty cosy, warm in the morning. Huh, not a problem. Okay, I'm having too much fun for this to be over. Let's see if we can do a relight. Yep, not a problem. Gotta love that. And again, look at the control on this thing. This is almost too much fun to be legal, especially where I live these days. Thanks guys.